With the NBA Finals all wrapped up and the Joker, not that Joker, capturing his first NBA title, I found it fitting to reminisce on past championship victors. From glorious comebacks to utter annihilations, we take a look back at some of the best. I'm Mike from Collection of Madness, and these are the top 10 NBA Finals of all time. Before we start, make sure to dunk on that subscribe button and like the video, or else Joel will eat your children. Number 10, Bulls vs. Suns, 1993. The Chicago Bulls were facing the hungry team in the Charles. Charles Barkley led Phoenix Suns. Many believe that the Suns had a decent chance in stopping Chicago from their third straight title. However, Chicago silenced those believers pretty quickly as they won the first two games and Jordan would put on an MVP performance leading to the Bulls' victory. Number 9, the Rockets vs. the Knicks, 1994. The series was great as both teams continued to go back and forth throughout the series. It felt like there was no clear-cut winner, but in Game 7, Hakeem Olajuwon and company showed everyone why they would eventually become two-time consecutive champs, not to mention the epic collapse in Game 7 from John Starks proved to be the massive factor. One team cemented its legacy while the other helped contribute to a curse that is still ongoing. Number 8, Celtics vs. Bucks, 1974. The Bucks came into the finals on the back of a league leading 59 wins and 23 losses in the regular season. The Celtics were close but struggling through the opening playoff rounds. Everyone thought it was obvious who would take the finals, but the Bucks blew it at home, suffering a blowout game 7 loss at home as five players scored in double figures for the Celtics, leading to a 102 to 87 victory. Number 7, Lakers vs. Pistons, 1980. The Bad Boy Pistons and the Showtime Lakers was an amazing series. This turned out to be the last championship won by the Lakers in that Magic Johnson era. The series saw the Pistons force the Lakers to a Game 7, although they were eventually bested by Magic, Kareem, and some of the best role players in the history of the game. This was flashy yet defensive basketball at its finest, and these two truly gave us a clinic on how basketball in the 80s was represented. Number 6, Lakers vs. Celtics, 2010. The Celtics and the Lakers faced off in the NBA Finals for the second time in three years. The Celtics held the edge with their win in 2008 at the Finals, but the Lakers as a squad have become deeper and improved their roster since. Kobe and the rest of the Lakers squad stepped up on the defensive end to hold Boston to just 67 points in Game 6, and they repeated the performance in Game 7, which was won by the Lakers 83-79 to win the NBA title. Number 5, Heat vs. Spurs. 2013. The Spurs were the better team for much of the series, and by Game 6, the Spurs were just a few seconds away from winning the title. That's when Ray Allen changed everything with a corner three that sent the game into overtime, which allowed LeBron to take over and win the game. Once Game 7 came around, the Heat were in control, and LeBron cruised to his second career title. It was an amazing series, and one that highlights the 2010s. Number 4, Celtics vs. Lakers, 1984. Larry Bird and Magic Johnson were the two biggest players in the NBA at that time, and they both represented very different things. They helped save the NBA with their superstardom, and there was a ton of debate on who was the best of the best out of these two. In the end, the Celtics won the series in seven games, and while the Lakers made it a good series, their performance was dragged through the mud by Magic Johnson's horrific play on the court. He was nicknamed Tragic Johnson following the series, and had people believing Bird was the better player, defining this series as one of the best. Number three, Mavericks vs. Heat, 2011. Where were you when LeBron James made his decision in 2011? Me? Well, I was saying that's a title right there with the super team of James, Wade, and Bosh. However, someone had a party to crash and his name was Dirk Nowinski. This entry is more about him than it is about the team, and even though it didn't go seven games, the pure emotion of one of the greatest championship runs of all time with a veteran underdog Mavericks team determined to prove everyone wrong. Dallas took the series in game six, 105 to 95, and an emotional Nowinski picked up his first and only championship title. Number two, the Chicago Bulls versus Utah Jazz, 1998. Michael Jordan's final championship was a rematch against the Utah Jazz from the year prior. This was a back and forth series and heading into a decisive game six with an injured Bulls squad, there was this feeling that the Jazz could get over the hump and end the reign of terror. But in typical MJ fashion, he put the team on his back and showed out in the final game, capping it off with a walk-off final shot that
that will forever go down in history. The Bulls and Jazz gave us some incredible basketball in these series and all the history behind it just makes it that much more special. And number one, Cavaliers versus the Warriors 2016. This has to be first on the list. And if you disagree, look yourself in the mirror, repeat these words, I am wrong, but still sexy. In the eyes of LeBron James, this is the series that made him the greatest player of all time. Down 3-1 against the 73 and 9 Warriors, LeBron led his Cavaliers all the way back to a Game 7 stunner that featured heroics from himself and Kyrie Irving. It is a series that will forever live in infamy as the moment that LeBron James brought a championship to Cleveland, which was a goal of his career ever since he was drafted by the team in 2003. He needed this series for his legacy and he was able to snatch it in epic fashion. If you're an NBA fan, you definitely shed a tear when you saw him win and fall to the floor. And that's our list. Make sure to slam dunk that subscribe button one more time and lay up a like. It really helps us.